The Torrent List Top 10 is proudly brought to you by Pop Culture, Australia's leading online retailer for all your pop culture merchandise. With thousands of products available at your fingertips, including action figures, collectibles, pop vinyl, bobbleheads, statues, props, cards, graphic novels and books, DVD and Blu-ray, and much, much more, popculture.com.au is your one-stop shop for everything you need. popculture.com.au, proud supporters of the Torrent This Network. Can we have our Ch- Coachella two-pack, please? <laughs> I want to make him appear. Ready? Are you going to put it in? Because I'm making him appear. He's not going to put him in. It's too much work. It's not. Do it. Ready? Coachella two-pack. <laughs> <laughs> <That's amazing>. <laughs> <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> Welcome to a very special edition of the Torrent This Top 10, the show where Michael and I choose a topic, decide our own top five, and then combine them to make the Torrent This Top 10 list. Joining Michael today is one of Australia's most popular professional wrestlers. He is Mr. Juicy, and their topic, best rappers of all time. Enjoy. Welcome to another episode of Torrent This Top 10. This is a bonus special episode. Uh, as you see, this is not Brendan Dando. This Thank is... fuck for that. Oh, no, God. Who are you today? Let's be Steve. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like people calling me Adam. I don't know okay. why. All right. Because so... it feels like I'm getting in trouble, then I get anxiety and... Okay. Well, we don't want to trigger that. <laughs> so this is Mr. Juicy. Two awesome intro reel now. There you go. So that's Mr. Juicy. That's what he's all about. To pack Coachella. <laughs> Okay, so today we're talking about the top 10 rappers of all time. Before we get into that though, we've got to thank Pop Culture and QWERTY Shirts. But because this is a bonus episode, we're just thanking them. We're not giving away anything, which they'll like because... They don't want to give away shit. Yeah, exactly. And you can like my fa- can plug my Facebook page? Yeah. Mr. Juicy Pro Wrestler. You should have done it on the one, uh, the Simpsons one. The Simpsons yeah. one. Yeah. Did you have a hard time picking your list, putting your list together? No. None at all? No. No, I didn't do any internet at all. I just picked the five. The five that come... Head. Okay. These are the five I think yeah. are awesome. Doesn't necessarily mean they are. No, Is that that's, that's not how the show works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, then. <laughs> Did you pick mine? I picked yours. I think I picked yours. Okay, excellent. Mm. All right, then, shall we get into it? Please. Cut away. Mr. Juicy, is our guest, would you like to start us with number five? I just want to start with okay. Suge Knight Coachella. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I think you'll have to invent that one. Yeah, that's it. We'll try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, number five for me would be a lot of people's number one. Which is whatever. But my number five would be Eminem. I got it. I know you've got it. No, I don't. Not on your list, I mean. Yeah, point yeah. is, I think that's my number five. Okay, yeah. I, I enjoy his early stuff, his Slim Shady stuff, his D12 stuff. Mm-hmm. All pretty cool. And his recent stuff's even better. Yeah. But still, I think being white really knocks him down the list. I had being white knock him up my list. Ooh. Because I feel like, you know, apart from Vanilla Ice... <laughs> who you can't talk about without laughing at. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's sort of, you know, paved the way. Um, and it's something I didn't like doing, because that's what Dando does. Oh, I'm putting this on my list because it was a trendsetter. But that's... It no, was. not because he's... I wouldn't say because he's a trendsetter. But, like, he, he made it okay for white people to rap. And say... Nigger. I don't think he did, <laughs> and I'm very uncomfortable that he chose to say We can that. beep that out, can't we? <laughs> so, Eminem, I, I, I have with his rap god. Excuse me? <laughs> I really like that. Like, I don't really normally like his Marshall Mathers stuff. I only like his Slim Shady or okay. D12. D12 was fantastic. Yeah. And then D12 in got? general. Can, do, if I, like, pull Sugar Knight's head out of the table... Fuck yeah. that in, Have fun. Sugar! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll say this. My number five... The Pioneers of Rap, I would say. It's a group. Does that count? Yeah, group's okay. Group counts? There was a hand up. Yeah, why was, what's the hand up with <laughs> oh, pioneers of rap, I would say. I believe they're like one of the first group to ever have a produced rap song come out. Please. The Sugar Hill Gang. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. I really like the Sugar Hill Gang. Rappers Delight. Sugar Hill Gang Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. 
It's really good. It's good. In my youth, I used to be able to do um, about six minutes of the 15 minutes rappers to life. Wow, yeah. that's actually impressive. Can't do it anymore. No. But yeah, I can do the Apache dance. Jump on Which it. is them as well. Yeah, I did that in a wrestling show once. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. Mm. It was part of the match. Ah, well, I'm a wrestler. Comes full circle. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. But no, it's, I, I put them on my list sort of for the same reason that I was talking about Eminem. Like they. I wouldn't say that they popularised it, but you know they they do have some sort of we were the first claim, and I think you need to recognise the pioneers of rap. Would you say one of the few rappers not to have a gang connection? Yeah, like uh, I, this always comes to mind. But you always talk about like Death Row Records mm-hmm. and all that shit happening, yep. and Puff Daddy and all his fucking shit that caused all the breakdown. Yep. East Coast, West Coast, you know, dancing and singing yeah, and get and the fuck out of my film yeah, clips type thing. Yeah, but they didn't. They had not. They, they were before that. Yeah, they were just there to just fuck bitches and and drop rhymes and not go down on them. No, never. <laughs> like, like men don't do that. But apparently not. <laughs> I've never asked one. It's a really racist yeah. episode. It's a bad idea. Right. Coach up. <laughs> My number five, Sugar Hill Gang, and yours, Eminem. Eminem. Number four for me, old school Ice Cube. Like, African American gentleman with attitude, Ice Cube. <laughs> That's... Okay. All right. Yeah, no, it's a good choice. Angry Ice Cube. Like, fuck the man, Ice Cube. I... Ice Cube. I would almost say that Ice Cube is still Fuck the Man Ice Cube. No. I understand he's making movies. And he's making family movies. movies in 21 and 22 Jump Street. Yeah, but then you had... Uh, what was that most recent one? Not the one with... You know, in RV, did he make not RV? The other one where he took other... <laughs> so black of him, took kids that weren't his on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. But like his music is still very angry at the world. Like a hood mentality and gangster rap made me do it and stuff like that. Like, I... Oh, I like his new stuff possibly more than his old stuff. That's really interesting. But for me, it's the gentleman the with school. attitude. Yeah, it's a gentleman yeah. is the N-word. <laughs> yeah. So is he... Is He's number four. Is he the only NWA member yes. that will be appearing? I made a mistake. That's okay. Mistakes can be made. My number four is probably one of the fastest rappers that I would say ever Fast? became popular. Okay. Buster Rhymes. Buster wow. Bus. I love Buster Bus. You've really gone a different direction to me. You, what? How, it's like we good? Just have no, good, in a good way. No, it's oh, a great okay. way. All because right. we're both, I think, instead of challenging each other, we're actually making a top 10 list. Yeah. Yeah, Buster Rhymes. Like, these are all things that I started listening to when I was a kid. Yeah, I can, look, for me, I went to school with a lot of Islanders. Yep. So, like... Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> R&B and rap music was just, like, yeah. constant at our school. So, I can see why yeah. that's a big thing for you. Yes. Yeah, whereas I went to school with a bunch of white kids and liking rap music and stuff was, like, a negative. Wow. Yes, I was bullied as a child. What? Yeah, I know. Okay, it's that. hard to understand. I mean, 6'2", fucking... No. <laughs> <laughs> Brown rice and broccoli. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I agree with you. So, Buster Rhymes and Ice Cube. Yeah. Number three, Mr. Juicy. You know what? You know what? I'm annoyed. What? Every time it's four, we don't do the four. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, time. well, you know, I wouldn't be throwing that up anyway. I'd be throwing up this one. <laughs> the wolf pack. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's another list. Can you get Kevin Nash just in here? Just to, to touch the Can we join him? With me? This way? This way? All right. Yeah. Too sweet. <laughs> um, number three for me. Yes. Jay Z. Oh, I got that. I oh, put that down. Very good. Yes. Am I meant to be saying the ones you put down? Because I haven't been. If you have, you gotten any of them? No. Then you keep your mouth shut. Sir. Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> um, Jay Z. Jay Z. In okay. his later years, Beyonce years, Illuminati really? years. Really? We put up triangles. No, I don't get behind with Jay Z. Wow. No. What's your reasoning? I've only ever liked Jay Z as a collab guy. Okay. I, I like Collision Course and Watch the Throne. That's all of Jay Z I've really ever liked. I think once he started banging Beyonce, mm. a lot of his juices emptied, <laughs> and therefore <laughs> he was more free. Okay, all right. I, I, to be honest, I've, I've probably never given him a listen apart from his collaboration stuff, just because I don't know. He seems like a horrible human being. 
No, I disagree. Him and her seem like horrible, wow. fame whore human beings. I, okay, when Beyonce's sister like went at him in the lift, apparently it was all staged. No, that's what. Bullshit. That's what her father-in-law came. Yeah, of course he's going to say that. What's he going to say? If she bashed the shit out of him and he cracked her. He should have dropped it. Oh yeah, I would have dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> but it was set up, so. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Jay Z. No, well, the. I, I don't think it's a bad one. So, though. new Jay Z. So, what's Jay Z been doing lately? I've been, I'm out of the loop. Just. I thought he was just managing her career. Jacking it. Okay, fair enough. Ask, ask a simple question, get fucking vagaries as an answer. My number three is Marshall Mathers. Interesting. Mmm, Eminem. Okay. For the reasons. I did get that, that you would say that, though. Yes. Did you think it would be higher? I. Uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, no, I'm spot on. Oh, there you go, right on the money. Yeah, I, I th- um, yeah, as I said, I mean, we've already talked about it. Slim Shady. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've already, yeah Slim Shady, that's it. Um, the, the other, the Marshall Mathers stuff from about 2000, you know, where he's rapping as him. Ah, oh, it's boring as fuck. It okay. puts me to sleep. But then, um, uh, yeah. with the whole like, don't interrupt me when I'm eating for autographs. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that sort of shit. You know, there's a dead, there's a dead chick in my boot. Yeah, Stan and uh, actually, I did like Stan. I like the one he did with Alan John, just because. Do you think Stan was the platform for old Dido Dildo to launch into could the music world? Could have been. It That's could my have feeling. Been. Very much so. But I don't care about her, so... I believe she's a lesbian. Okay. <laughs> I'm not judging her one way or another. I'm not judging. Uh, it like feels like you're judging. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and, yeah, and then he fell out, fell out for a long time. Like, he what? He quit, right? He was done for a while. He went away. I yeah. don't say he quit. He went away. And then he came back and, like, he's one of my favourite songs that's come out in the last few years is from him, a rap guy. I, man, I can listen to that just... Non-stop. Love it. It's amazing. Interesting. So, I yeah. won't disagree with that. What? I disagree with your number three. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Alright, so number three, Eminem and... Jay-Z. Ugh. Number two. Can I guess your number two? I bet you already know it. Tupac. Yep. Mr. Machiavelli himself, Tupac Shakur. I think, genuinely, from the ghetto, from, you know, a crack addict mother... From Gangster's Paradise, like yeah. he he was. Oh, Coolio! Why did he not make my yeah. list? Yeah. But <laughs> for me, he is genuinely, gen, gen, genuinely, not genuine. Genuinely, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> horny horse. Uh. Anyway, genuinely a gangster. But in saying that, okay, he had a soft side. Yes, because I do have one rebuttal. To when everyone says that Tupac is the gangster rapper, mm. I always respond with, gangsters don't have nose piercings. I was, I was going to go <laughs> to the fact that he actually went to a uh, school for acting and did oh, in, okay. sh- you know, Shakespeare and stuff, and yeah. he's actually quite a good actor. Um, Above the Rim, which I always think is a hilarious Above title, rim, which yeah. was one of his first movies. Okay. Great movie. Yeah. Um, but in general, his music is quite lyrical. And makes a lot of sense where a lot of other rappers can be just a bit of I fucked your hoe and your hoe sucked my ball sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's a bit tight. he's a bit more a bit more in depth, I think. Yeah, okay. There's some so substance me, there. I think it's not just like I made it, look at me. I, he never had that though. As much money as he made, yeah. he was never uh, I mean he had nice cars and shit, but he wasn't like I live in a million dollar mansion, look at me now. You know what he should have had? Mm. Bulletproof vest. Well, maybe if Suge Knight didn't kill him, he would. Well, it's never been true. It has been. I don't feel like it has. I feel like he would have gone to prison if it did. So... Okay, so what... Okay, here's my issue with this whole thing. (laughs) Suge Knight claimed there was a bullet stuck in his head from the shooting. Because he was trying to be gangster. I understand that. Yeah. Tell me how... Um, okay, if I'm going to kill someone and they're yeah. with someone else, yeah. why would I leave a witness? Why would I go bang, bang, oh, get a shug? You wouldn't. You'd go bang, fuck, bang, I didn't realise he was going to be in the car. Mask. No. Well, the police officers weren't wearing masks. They were just wearing uniforms. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, so that cockamamie <laughs> Illuminati run the world story. Let's get into something that's a little bit more legit. Possibly something that's too legit to quit. <laughs> My number two is MC Hammer. <sighs> Go on! Go on, the camera's there! 
No. No, say what you want to say. Why? What do you mean, why? Why? Hammer time, brother. <laughs> I, I, I understand. Hammer time. Okay, but he had one song. No, he didn't. Too legit to quit. Oh, that wasn't as popular. It wasn't as popular. Well, I can say everyone had a million songs, but they just weren't as but popular. But that's like saying Psy has one song. I don't know who that is. That's the Gangnam Style. Well, he does only have one song. Because his like, other one was shit. What was that? He had like he had like six studio albums before Gangnam Style. Okay, I'm talking about mainstream popularity. Anyone can win in K-pop. I can make a K-pop song and fucking be famous. Yeah, okay, we're getting off the track because he's not a rapper. <laughs> But MC Hammer, I mean, what's not to love about Hammer Time? No, disagree. He wasn't gangster. You don't need to be gangster yeah, to be a rapper. Yeah, you need to be able to be gangster. He was religious. He was a he was a preacher, preaching it from the heart. God blessed him with the mind to rhyme and two high feet, and it felt <laughs> good. When you know you're down, a super okay. homeboy from the OT. And just to go back to The Simpsons, yeah. when The Simpsons bought ha- <laughs> when MC Hammer's house. Yes. And he did Hammer Time. Very good. Good segue. Yes. But no, Hammer Time is one of those songs that it's forever going to be in the side. Okay, Look, just listen to yourself, okay? okay? Top 10 rappers and R&B artists of all time. MC and he Hammer. put MC Hammer as yes. your number two. That's my number two. Of all time. Of all time. Who, as a rapper... Oh. Has had more longevity. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, okay, Snoop Dogg? No. One. Oh, uh, fuck, fuck what, off. What song does <laughs> everyone, everyone, I can go out to everyone, anyone on the street, and, and start singing Hammer Time, and they will join in. You can't do that with anyone else. Oh. He has transcended just mere celebrity and has become a. Pop- Where is he now? He came out at the VMAs last year and did that mashup of Gangnam Style and all of his songs. It was amazing. I disagree. And I would not put MC Hammer in the top ten artists of R and B and rap. We've even touched on many R and B artists. Like shame on us. I don't really like R and B though. Like Salt and Pepper. No. TLC. No. No. Don't go chasing. <laughs> Waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. MC Hammer is a way better choice than Tupac. Get the fuck out of here. That's Fucking the dumbest thing you've ever seen. Go knock on next door and ask And I'll say, I'll, and I'll say it. who's a better rapper, Tupac or MC Hammer, and they're going to go, hmm, MC they'll, Hammer. They'll say Tupac, and then you say, oh, okay, what's your favourite Tupac song? And they go, uh... Oh, changes, um, next dear mama... Next door doesn't know that. Oh, next door... Sh- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number two. Coachella. MC <laughs> Hammer. And Tupac. Just before we get into our number ones, here is when we would normally do some prize drawing. So Let's give away my boob sweat. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't want Mr. Juicy's boob sweat, make sure you go to the Facebook page, like the page, subscribe on YouTube, do all of that stuff. I'm not going to beg you because really I'm not that neat. Mr. Juicy Pro Wrestler, please. I need to get to a thousand likes. <laughs> it was probably actually close to five times. Has that. MC Hammer liked it? Or? No. Has Tupac liked yours? He's no, because he's dead. <laughs> he is. Number one. You would have picked mine. Notorious B.I.G. is your number one. Notorious motherfucking B.I.G. Like, it's like, what'd you do? Just go to the internet and just pick the top five straight off of there? No. These, are, these are my it? top five. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Biggie Smalls is by far. He make you shit your drawers. My favourite rapper. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Pop, Pop but Pop. throw your oh, hands that Keanu Reeves yeah. movie? Oh, amazing. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the table. I'll keep it yeah. here. Point is, this is why I like him. Okay. Because it, it's a gimmick. For those of you playing at home. So it's fake? No. No. Here's a gimmick. Okay. He grew up in a wealthy home, uh, went to a private school, uh, Always had money. His mum was quite well off, even though she was a single black woman. What he portrayed was what his alter ego was, which was a poor black man living on the streets, hustling to, you know, make money. So he was Rick Ross before Rick Ross. Correct. Rick Ross is better. Anyway. Like, and his music is fantastic. Is it? He talks about being in a club... Going to eat steak, cheese, and eggs, and having grape juice, then having sex with a chick in the spa bath. What more do you want in life? That is my dream. I don't know. I just I feel steak, like... steak, cheese, and eggs. Like I'm not saying it's wrong. 
I think it's just something I don't get. A lot of people talk about how these guys, the the original OG gangster rappers, how how their flows were so good, and it's just you listen to it, it sounds like a disjointed mess. You're a fucking idiot. It does. <laughs> you really are. Like, it's like it's like it's got no professionalism. It's what? Got, it's just. Ah, I don't like the style. I don't like the style. I just, I don't even want to hear you number one. Because I know what it is, and it's upsetting. <laughs> what is it? It's vanilla ice, isn't it? No! <laughs> no! It's not vanilla ice. I thought about it. Because I would have held you by your ankles like Suge Knight did. I really would have. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I just, I, I don't get it. Like, you put on one of their songs. I, I, how can you not, like, okay. When Big, okay, fuck! <laughs> when when Biggie died, right, when he got yep. shot, yep. and his funeral went past his house, and yep. they played Hypnotize, yep. and it was just 10,000 black people standing on cars yep. while cops were beating them with batons, yep. singing Hypnotize, That's, that doesn't get any more rap and gangster than that. But it was all just a gimmick. But that's the best thing about it. Hulk Hogan's just a gimmick. But you love him. Yeah, I understand Okay, that. all this is gimmick. I don't like any of that. Okay, that's, but... That's his shit. This, we are gimmicks. I'm life. not a gimmick. This You're is me. Wrong. This is just me. I'm real. I'm OG. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes in life... Okay. Slim Shady is Eminem's alter ego. And I like him. I'm not saying don't like him because he's a gimmick, but I'm saying like don't love him because he's a gimmick either. No, I love him for his music. Okay. I just you know, never really struck a chord with me. I guess I just can't relate to a young black man in the hood. A young fat black man. <laughs> so fat. My number one is so much better than that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip that paper off. No, you're not. I'm just gonna leave. It's so much better than that. And just it's get because it out. while the rap game has changed around him, he has stood a stone against the torrential degradation of the rap game. Let he it is out, mate. the Ice Cube. Okay. While everyone else is out there spitting saliva, he's spitting lava. No, but okay, you can't go from fuck the police. To I'm um, in a fishing boat on a movie set. I think you can. No, I don't, you can't. But well, hold on. No, yeah, oh, I know what you're gonna say. It's just a gimmick. <laughs> Above the rim with Tupac, he that, played a gangster. That's not what I'm gonna say. What I'm saying is, if you're saying Biggie Smalls is great and everything, and but Biggie Smalls I, didn't I, break kayfabe. Oh, Google kayfabe. Fucking here we go. <laughs> Biggie, don't use insider language. Biggie Smalls never broke character. Yes, but it's 2014. You can't never break character. Yes, of course you can. There's people doing it every day Who? of their lives. Who? Everyone. Everyone's no. a character. You go home and you cry yourself to sleep. No. <laughs> Do you want to know why Ice Cube is the ultimate gangster? Oh, I can't wait to hear this shit. Because he's out there making more money than anyone. But that's not the point. He went out there, he found a way to get his hustle on, and he got his fucking hustle on. And then he gets into the studio, and he's just as street as he ever was. No. No! You can't be street if you're living in Beverly Hills. Well, apparently you can. Uh, if no, you, you if, can't. If you, if you were raised by a single black wealthy female, but you've got a gimmick where you're a fat black guy from the street. Eating steak, cheese and eggs. How yeah. is that not the best but rap lyrics you've ever heard? Thing. It's the same thing. No, the best rap lyrics I've ever heard is... You tried to go ham on Porky Pig, fucked up boy, that's what you did. I, you missed me that. Yes, it? Ice Cube. Go back to my place, fill my tummy with cheese, egg and steak. Uh, see, how is this good? Who likes this? <laughs> Blaze up in the jacuzzi <laughs> while you do me. That's not good. It may as well... And be- if you don't know, now you know, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> okay? Amazing lyrics. It may as well just be Little Wayne's and yeah. <laughs> okay. Little Wayne's a million. Amazing. He's not amazing. I'm Which one? A million. A million. I'm a young money millionaire. Fuck everything. Yeah, yeah, no, it's terrible. Fantastic. <laughs> You're fucked. <laughs> With Nigerian hair, I'm a venereal disease like a menstrual bleed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nice. Yes. <laughs> I like Little Wayne. But he, ah! he doesn't deserve no, to be I on this No, I didn't say list. he was on this no. list. But I'm just saying Ice I'm not Cube. Saying, I'm not saying Ice Cube's a bad number one. He's the best number one. No, I'm not saying he's the best number one. Who's better? Tupac or Biggie? They know. made the game. And there he was no, it. There was no East Coast, West Coast. There was no blood. Oh, the blood's in Cribs. Yeah. But this, this, okay, this fucking annoys me, okay? Listen <laughs> very carefully, people. 
in the ghetto, okay? The Bloods and Crips were from the same fucking That's not area. True. None of them was from Los Angeles. That is incorrect. I know. You are lying. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. In Compton, they both lived. There was a blue gang and a red gang, the Bloods and the Crips. Had nothing Who to fucking do. Know I'm that, people are stupid. But Okay, they're poor black guys in a gang. How are they going to fight with each other if they're not in the same area? But that's what I'm saying. That's why these people are stupid. What the people? LA and York. We're talking the about people. on YouTube. Okay. The LA, New York, East Coast, West Coast shit started between Suge Knight and Puff Daddy. What does that have to do with anything? Because people need to be educated. Because they're going to go on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire one day, and they'll be like... Who's the greatest rapper of all time? <laughs> Ice Cube, you just want a million fucking dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay, so, good list. My number one, Ice Cube. Notorious B.I.G. So, Mr. Juicy. Please. Now that all that hostility is behind us. Yes. I can tell you that I got three of yours. Of course. And I got your number one, which means I got five points. I How many points did you get? I only got one point. I only got your Eminem. You're a bad friend. Yeah, I'm not a good friend. You wonder why we have issues. We why? why? You don't listen to me. No, I do. You razz me out. <laughs> so, what did you think I was going to have? This will be interesting. I thought you were... Number one would be Vanilla Ice. Why? Because you talked about it. Oh, you don't listen. You spoke about it the whole time. <laughs> that was the bait and switch. Vanilla Ice has one song. How can you make my list? I won't lie. I threw in Little Wayne. Oh, here we go. Eminem. John is one of my favourite songs of all time. With Little Wayne and Rick Ross. Oh, so Tupac and Jay-Z. Terrible. I know. You don't know me. Yeah, I don't. None at all. If I, I don't know, now I know. <laughs> <Nigga>. <laughs> For you, I had. I reckon I was pretty, pretty close on with you. I had Easy E, but you had Ice Cube. Yeah, that's and, okay. yeah. and they were from this, you know, much of a muchness. Yep. Uh, Jay Z, which you had. Yep. I thought you'd, you'd throw some old school respect out there. I put down Public Enemy. Fuck, that's not bad. Yeah. I could have done this. <laughs> I was just. I yeah. hope someone gets that. You got it, which <laughs> is good. Did you uh, get it? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. ECW, Public Enemy? No. When you talk about Public Enemy, I'm just thinking Chuck D. Anyway. Uh, Tupac and Notorious. Good list. Yeah. Well, because when I looked at your list, I was like, I, I feel he's going to have a very generic list. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, it's it's like, that's... that's. I don't, dis- I don't disagree. Yeah, that's like people's top five. I am a generic... Wong, so yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Gold chains. Oh, no gold chains. No, no. gold chains, no. no. But no, that's, yeah. So I, I feel good. I think that's the most I've ever scored. Five points. I'm looking at Dando for confirmation. Yes, that's the most I've ever scored. So there you go. The microphone looks like the camera has a penis. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Um, this will be up when you're watching it. <laughs> that's not how recordings work. Um, yeah, and I've already said to make sure you check stuff. So just so do, I do it on a free screen. Do you, no, do you, I generally do final words. Would you like to do some final no, words? No, I just like to do a uh, freeze frame. Okay, before you do your freeze frame, I just want to say again, because I'm not holding up like thingos for them, I just want to make sure we thank Pop Culture and we thank Qwerty Shirt for being our loyal sponsors. Thank you very much. Freeze frame. Freeze frame. Hideous freeze frame. You're not gonna like this freeze frame. You look like a thumb. <laughs> Let's see, we're done. Hey guys, don't forget if there's a list you wanna see, you gotta tell us in the comments. And make sure you like and subscribe so you know when we do it.